now, but the second toe was a lot worse too, but now it's better. It's uh, seeping a little bit. So we're gonna clean out all that darkness and down into really good bleeding tissue. Okay, good. Okay, now we when I came down to the bottom of the foot now, you can now see the ulcer here. According to Tony, it's been getting better, right? This yeah, is getting smaller, it used to be a lot bigger. And then you see the third toe is gone now, but the second toe was a lot worse too, but now it's better. It's uh, seeping a little bit. So we're gonna clean out all that darkness and down into really good bleeding tissue. And then we're gonna wrap it up and then we're gonna modify shoes so that we can really take pressure off this area, which is really the key. And then when we see maybe in a couple of weeks, hopefully it'll be a lot smaller than where it is now, okay? So I know we're carrying a conversation, we're just at the lunch now, right? <laughs> so we're gonna reduce some bread, right? Just half it. And then tell me what's going on with your dinner. For dinner, I'll have uh, a little rice, mm -hmm. sometimes steak with a little gravy mm -hmm. and no bread. Mm -hmm. And I, I'll, uh, I won't eat no canned vegetables. No canned vegetables, yeah? Okay. So how do you... Because the, I know they soaked in salt. Right, right. And, uh, okay. So you know you know a lot about all this stuff already, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just need to change a few things, just reduce it. I usually always recommend my patients and all the people that I teach is have a cheat day, okay? Just, just monitor your sugar carefully. It's hard to not cheat because there's so much temptation, right? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that you want to eat. So uh, if I tell people not to cheat, then they're going to cheat anyways, right? Yes. So we want to be able to cheat with uh, some some relief or pride with it, right? So yeah. Saturday is my cheat day. You know, um, I like to um, go to like In-N-Out sometimes to get their burger. Some days uh, I get like, uh, you know, those animal style with the protein style, okay. so no buns. But that gets a little old too, right? So sometimes I just eat the eat the actual, uh, all the buns and everything. My sugar doesn't go up that much because I've been really good, right, the whole week, right? So yeah. that's what I do. Your dinner's pretty good, obviously. How about your uh, exercise? What do you do for exercise? It's hard now because of the ulcer, huh? Oh, yeah. Um, I do, well, I work, I do a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. And then I have to climb up on top of a vacuum truck. So I, I usually get pretty good exercise at work. Mm -hmm. And then around the house, I'm always doing something, cutting the yard, or working on a car or something. Very seldom. Some of those guys that you just can't sit down, can you? Yeah. You're one of those guys. Keep moving, right? Yeah. I told him, I was like, I'm from that generation. And they, uh, you had to work. Man, I like you young guys. I want to grab a, uh, turn on the TV, uh, <laughs> the phone, and sit there for two hours. And I was like, I can't even sit on a computer and play a game for 30 minutes. No, really? Me. You get a little antsy, huh? You yeah, need to I keep gotta, moving. I got to go mow, mow the yard, do something. Do something, huh? Okay. They say, like, no, do you have a lot to sit down? And I say, yeah, for about 20, 30 minutes. Or I'm at the house and I'm not nothing to do. I sit down and watch a football game and mm -hmm. cop my field. Sometimes I might have one beer out of six months. Really? I don't drink every day. On, on a cheat day, right? On a cheat yeah, day. I said, oh, I think I have a beer today. It's a football game on. And I might order me a pizza and eat by two slices. Mm -hmm. And then my granddaughter, she'll come in and she'll go. I like my friends have finished off the rest of the pizza. Yeah? Okay. Well, good. I said, well, y'all can eat that. I got my two slices out of it that I'm supposed to have. Yeah. So you're moving. Constantly moving is very important. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, you belong to a gym, or have you ever been to a gym well, lately? I'm or mostly waiting on this to heal up. Heal up, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you may be able to do some sit-down exercises, like uh, bicycling and things. Mm -hmm. So that really helps to get things circulating. But you you move around quite a bit. A lot of people, a lot of diabetes don't move at all. So I think you may be pretty good uh, the things you're doing. And obviously, if we accommodate the area to not pressure on it, then it, it'll definitely heal faster. So as you can see, I got it down to the good bleeding tissue. Mm -hmm. So now it's this is able to heal. I'm gonna wrap it up pretty well after. And hopefully when we see him next time, it'll be a lot smaller. So I'm gonna go to the next toe, which is this one. Also gonna clean up all these things, like scabs and things. Cause we, we wanna get down to a good bleeding tissue because mm -hmm. that stimulates uh, new cell growth. If you have all these things sitting on top of it, then it doesn't 
heal from the bottom up. We want to heal from the bottom up. So we want to get to the bottom and then get rid of all of this. And then okay. when we, yeah, when, when we take the pressure off, it's really going to help you. So that's what we're doing here. The nail's gone though, huh? Yeah. It'll, it'll eventually try to come back. Oh, it's going to come back? Mm -hmm. Oh, you had to come back before? Because that one there on the big toe was, uh, like I said, I'll let it turn a big old blister. I just uh -huh. peeled all of that off. The uh -huh. nail and all. Uh -huh. And it started coming back. Yeah. Okay. Do you take any collagen supplements or do you take any supplements of any kind? Mm, no. No? Okay. So I recommend uh, bone broth soup. What is it? Bone broth soup. You know, it's like a chicken soup. You know chicken soup, right? Yeah. Chicken noodle soup, right? When you're sick, what happens? People give you chicken noodle soup, right? Right. Because it's the most amazing thing when you cook chicken or any kind of bone, whether, you know, beef or chicken or fish, you know, pork or whatever, mm -hmm. all the minerals that are in the bones, they come out. And then all the collagen. Collagen is what makes up bones and joints. A lot, a lot of people don't know that, but it's that, uh, it's that, material that makes up your bone it's a little gooey type of material that comes out you know when you cook it's pretty oily mm -hmm. when you do those bone broths are pretty oily people think it's fat but yes they are sometimes but a lot of them are collagen okay, okay. and collagen is like your like your walls it's your your um, bricks it it it's required to heal these kind of area if you don't have enough collagen you cannot heal this very effectively okay, okay? So what I do, we Koreans eat, you know, I'm Korean, we Koreans eat a lot of um, like a beef stew or a lot of uh, bone broth soup naturally. So I eat at least three times a week. Mm -hmm. It helps your skin. I know you look pretty good though. You look pretty good for your age, but you can even look better, you see. So, uh, and then it helps healing this area because it's got all the minerals, all the collagen to uh, rebuild this skin that's okay. on here, right? So I highly recommend, just get, you can go to uh, actually um, um, Costco and they literally throw away all those bones. Uh, you can buy some of that really cheap. And then you put them in the big crock pot, you cook it, put all kinds of spices that you like, like uh, ginger, garlic, you know, whatever, all the other spices. Mm -hmm. And then you, um, you cook it like six, eight hours, right? Very slow heat. Mm -hmm. And then all that stuff comes out of the bone, all the collagen and the minerals. That's why when you eat chicken soup, you get better really fast. It's not a myth, you know, it's, there's a science on that thing, right? Same thing. So I highly recommend to heal this wound. You need more collagen. Okay. okay? So, uh, we, we need the building material for your skin to really regenerate. Okay. So that's going to be really important. And then now you can see the second toe is really cleaned up nicely. There's some bleeding going on in there but this is very nicely cleaned up. I'm very excited to see him next time to see how much we close this down with the help of uh, collagen and eating better. And uh, well, he keep moving, so I'm not worried about his exercise, but uh, I think he's got good bleeding, which is a really good sign that he's gonna heal very well. So I'm very happy to see all the good bleeding coming. So there's really no reason for you not to heal. Okay. Uh, if you take the pressure off of it, and then if you nourish yourself to rebuild this area with the with the good tissues, then we should be able to close this in, in no time. So that's what I'm, I'm hoping. So there you have it. And then it looks really nice. You want to have a final picture? And what I think of my uh, fold, I think he measured it the first time I came in. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it looked like it's getting small. Yeah, yeah. So we want to expedite and close it down, but so you can go out and exercise and do all those things, all right? So I'm gonna put some medicine there. To put some, it's still bleeding, so I need to stop that. I'm gonna put some medicine right there. Put some medicine right here. Okay, well, you're bleeding well. That's a good sign. Yeah, I'm yeah. in trouble if I wouldn't. I know, so you're doing well, I think it's, be able to heal pretty quickly on these things. Are you still bleeding? We're gonna wrap it up and now we're gonna 
accommodate his shoes after this. So we're taking complete pressure off these areas. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna wrap this up a little bit, not too much because he has to go back into his shoes. So it's looking pretty good. So, and then I'm going to show you how we accommodate the shoes to take pressure off this area right after I finish wrapping here. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you, Tony, for allowing me to film you today. Thank okay. you. Okay, so we'll go to the shoes now. He just came back, uh, he brought his work shoes, which is where he does most of his standing. So I'm gonna, I just took the insoles out. You can see that there's a couple of pressure points, obviously right there. You have a couple other ones too, but that's your main area right there. You see that, Tony? Uh -huh. Right there and right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get these pads and put around the area where we're gonna take the pressure off like that, okay? okay? Now I'm going to start with one. If you like it, if you can handle it because the shoes gets a little tight, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't wanna to put too much because that can create more problems too. So like this, okay? Now I'm gonna put one, but well, let's start with two because it's compressed down quite a bit. So I'm gonna put two here. Now, if this is too much for you, just take one layer off, okay? If okay. it's, that means if it's too bulky where it's your, the top of the toe is hitting the shoe and it's uncomfortable, you can take, peel one off. And then after a little while, it's gonna compress down and I'm gonna give you some extra pads, but okay. you're gonna put some new ones. And that's gonna make a big difference because the pressure rather than being here, it's gonna be over here and it's gonna be a lot less pressure on these area. Okay. We're trying to heal those wounds, so, okay? Okay. So there you have it. This is how we modify our, our uh, orthotics or any insoles to take pressure of a certain area. Also, I promised Tony that I would give him one of my books, one of my first books. It's called The Nine Secrets of Health. So this is a book that I wrote about 11 years ago. Uh, it has all the secrets about how your body works and how to improve from any disease, including diabetes. So this is a book, this is on Amazon. Um, they're a little bit expensive what they charge, but uh, it's a good book, I think. I wrote it. So here we go. Tony? Thank you okay. very much. I will he, sit down and start reading this tonight. I know he promised me that he would read, so I'm giving it to him. Okay, I'll sign the front so that he can, he knows where it comes from. So there you have it. And looking forward to seeing Tony again. Thank you, Tony, today. Thank you. For all your good input and, uh, and your feet. Thank you. <laughs>